Alright guys, so today we are going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of everything. We've got shadow sparring, we've got patterns, we've got uh, fitness, we've got technique, a little bit of stretching as well. So we're going to start off with just some arm swings. So you can either do the ones where we go around in a circle, forwards and back. You can do the ones where one arm goes forward, one arm goes back. Or you can do kind of this one, which I like. Or I think I like, um, Emily's here. Hi Emily, good to see you as well. So whichever arm exercise you like, you can maybe do your elbows and wrists as well, just to make sure those arms are ready to go. And our next ones, we're just going to do some hip openers as well. Three, two, one. Okay, so for your hips, you can either do hip circles, yeah, old favourite, always doing this one, or you can do like a kind of half crescent kick, I suppose, where you come up with the knee and circle that outwards. You can always circle inwards as well, so we can just mobilize those hips, get them ready for some of the kicks we've got coming up later on. Another 10 seconds, and you can keep changing between those. If you want to do your knees, you can do your knees as well. By the way, if you did the 100 rounds workout in your back today, really well done. All right, let's just jog on the spot. So when you're jogging, you can bring your knees up, you can bring your heels up, you can maybe do like a bit of a skip, side steps. I know Florence likes to do shuttle runs around her room, so if you've got the space, move around a little bit more. 15 seconds left. You might want to start jogging a little bit faster, up to you. Our next one after this, we're going to do some front snap kicks. Yeah, just lovely and relax, just waist high, lower if you need to, higher if you want to. Alright, so just some front snap kicks. Make sure those hands stay up. And whatever you're doing with your feet, make sure they're formed. So you can form it into an instep, you can form it into a uh, ball of the foot. I suppose you can do some knees as well if you want to do front snap kick with the knee. Uh, our next round is going to be shadow boxing. So just hand techniques. Don't need to go too fast. Make sure that guard hand stays up. All right, off we go. So always one hand touching the face. And whatever grade you're on, whether it's Little Lions or uh, Taekwondo, you're going to have some shadow sparring on your grading. Some control. Make sure hands are staying up. Whoa, Andrew Mackey's looking fast today. Our morning, Duncan. Keep going, keep going. Rising Kicks is coming up next. All right, Rising Kicks. So just take your time. We don't have to be in a proper walking stance. We're just slowly bringing those kicks a little bit higher each time. <laughs> now, if the camera suddenly goes wobbly, it's because my dog is over there sniffing at the camera. <laughs> Eight more seconds. Next one's going to be lunges. Alright, so let's just do some lunges. So down. I'm going to do the little one where you step across. It's one of my favourites at the moment, but you can just forward and back. So we're trying to get that knee almost to the floor. Body stays up. We're not looking down. We're not bent over like this. You know, keep that body up. Try not to rest on your knee. Now our next one, I'm really sorry. If Katie's there, I'm sorry. We're going to do some burpees, yeah? Any kind of burpee you want. All right, so hands to the ground, legs out, legs in. And up, you can do a tuck jump here if you want. You can do a push up at the bottom if you want. You can do the dead man ones. Yeah, any kind of burpee. You can do a sprawl one where the hips hit the floor. Yeah, anyone you want. What's people doing? What we got? Oh, Holly's going for a diamond push up at the bottom. Amazing. Well done, Charlie. And relax. Take on a little bit of water. And then we're going to do some shadow sparring combinations. Okay, so combo number one, um, which will start in about 30 seconds. It's going to be front snap kick, jab cross, downward kick. Um, I'd like the two kicks off opposite legs. So if you do the front snap kick with your left, try and do the downward kick with your right. Okay, so front snap kick, just into the waist. One two and then you come in or out for your downward kick. I quite like to go out, across and down through the centre. Okay, off we go. So front snap kick, jab, cross, 
and downward kick. Just keep that going. One to the waist, two, three to the head, and four to the head if you can. If you're not comfortable kicking high, just make it that little bit lower. Good. Push your hips through when you do this downward kick. Keep the hands up when you do the downward kick as well. Now see if you can get into that second kick pretty fast after throwing the cross. So boom, one, two and three, so it chases. All right, next one, uh, Superman punch, double side kick, okay? So we're just gonna be lovely and relaxed. Whichever leg is in front, you're gonna hop on that leg. So my right leg's in front, so I'm gonna hop while I do two punches. So up here, hop, I land, two side kicks. Yeah, you can do this, I know you can. So bounce a little bit, hop forward when you land, two side kicks back to where you started. doing the two side kicks you can always put your foot down in between that's absolutely fine better to have good balance and put the foot down and if you're flexible you might want to play around with the heights of the side kick you might want to do one high and then one into the waist all right and uh, number three exchange turning kick so this is on a, um, a few of the higher grades so if I've got my left leg in front I'm going to be kicking with my right leg, but I don't want to keep this leg here. I want to pull it back as I kick. So I'm kind of moving backwards. So imagine you haven't got the space to do the kick from here. So I move backwards slightly. Have a little go, bounce around, and when you're ready, pull that foot back as you kick. So this one moves and then this one drives forward so I'm going forward as I kick. You can do the same thing with a back kick so you start the kick and you hop as you kick. Okay take your time make sure you can see where you're going. Now a tiny step before you go is okay but do not bring those feet together. The feet do not touch. And if you're good at your hands, bring your hands up. Kicking with the left, right hand comes to the face. And vice versa. Excellent, well done. So we're going to have another little rest and then we're going to do Chonji. For a minute and a half. If you don't want to do chonji, um, you can maybe go a pattern lower, maybe practice Sajra Jirugi, or if you're a higher grade, you can just practice your own pattern because you have a minute and a half. Yeah? So, whichever pattern you want. <sighs> but I'm going to do chonji. 19 moves, means the heaven and the earth, interprets the creation of the world and the beginning of human history. All right, I think we're all ready to go. It doesn't look like anyone's getting any water. So I think we might as well skip our rest. And boom, let's do chonji. So if you're sticking with me, stick with me. If you're not doing chonji, just go at your own speed. I'm doing a left low block and a right punch. I can just squeeze it in. All the way around, I do a right block and a left punch. Now to the front, left block right punch 
all the way around to the back, right block, left punch. If you're doing Chonji with me, we're now doing a left middle block in a right L stance. So push that weight onto the back leg. Aim, punch with the right. All the way around, block with the right, punch with the left. To the back, block with the left, punch with the right, and try and keep that punch down the centre, depending on which camera I'm looking at. And then round, right block, left punch, step forward for a right punch if you've got space, step back and punch, step back and punch again. And that hup, trunji. We've still got 20 seconds, so if you're still doing your pattern, just keep going, get a few more moves in, and let you do those first four moves again. Excellent, well done. Uh, remember if you're training at home and you haven't got much space, you might have to shrink your stances. That's understandable, or you might have to jiggle around a little bit to fit the patterns in. All right, a little bit of fitness coming up. So eight rounds of 20 seconds. Yeah, so very short rounds, but there's not going to be any rest in between. We're just going to go from one to the other. I'm going to start off with some pulse lunges. So I'm going to go with my left leg in front, I think. Um, and for the pulse lunges, we're never coming all the way up. And yeah, we're just going to dip. So that knee is staying fairly close to the floor and we're almost bouncing, but it's a controlled bounce. Yeah, let's go. Make sure you're not looking at the floor. If you want, bring your hands into a guard. That means you're going to be focused forward rather than focused down. Ooh, burning already. Lace is still tired from our Wednesday. Five more seconds and we're just going to do normal lunges. Two. All right, our normal lunges. So now both legs are working. And if you haven't guessed, our next round, we're going to do the pulse lunges on the other leg. So I had the right leg in front, so now I'm going to have the left leg in front. No, I didn't. I, I'm going to have the right leg in front this time. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. Well done. All right, so the other side and pulse. That's it. Well done. Hands in the guard if you need to. And if you haven't worked it out, we're going to be lunging again for number four. But don't worry, that'll be all the legs. If you want to go faster, go faster. Ooh. Ow, 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 ow. And lunges. Whoosh. Well done, keep it going. Whee. Our one after this, we're going to be doing uh, push-ups. If you want to put your knees on the floor, that's absolutely fine, because they're going to be pulses. So we're never all the way up, and we're never all the way down. We're kind of in the middle, but just bobbing. All right, let's do it. So knees down, weight over the shoulders, and we're just halfway. Not all the way up, not all the way down. Nice and fast. Should be getting tired in the back of the arms. All right, ground and pound. Fast arms. Long arms as well. Don't want to see this, this doesn't count. You can experiment with bringing the hips back, bringing the hips forward. We're going to go back to those pulse push-ups. Let's go. Whoa. I definitely hit more the second time around. Very small range of motion. Oh, my poor arms. <laughs> yes, rub onto your back. Punch the sky. Again, long arms. If you want to work harder, either go faster or punch harder. Ow, ow, ow. Can't believe how tired my arms are. Excellent, guys. Got another 30 seconds rest. So take your time standing up. You don't need to rush. So, has anyone else got tired arms if they trained on Wednesday? couple of people. Yes, Nuha's like, me, my arms are tired. Okay, what we got next? We've got a little bit of dangan. So I'm going to do the yellow belt pattern. If you want to follow me, follow me. If you want to do your own pattern, do your own pattern. 
or you can go lower. You can do Chonji again, you can do Sajajurugi, whatever you're happy with. All right, three, two, one. So if we're doing Dangan, we go to an L stance knife hand guarding block. Then we go to a high punch with the right hand. We're gonna go all the way around, do the opposite. So knife hand garden block with the right leg in front and the punch with the left leg in front. Now we do a left low block. Make sure you cross the hands. Three punches if you can squeeze them in. One, two, three. So your right leg should be in front. We're gonna to spin to this wall. Twin forearm block. Yeah, try and sink into a nice L stance. Remember, you might have to shuffle around a little bit, that's understandable. Right punch. All the way around to the other side. Twin forearm block. Left punch. So we're going to stick two moves together now if you're doing Dangan. We're going to do a left low block, straight into a left rising block. So we went left and left. Now three more rising blocks, again, if you can fit them in. If you can't, you might just need to shuffle around a little bit. Spin round to this wall. Knife hand strike when you get there with the left hand. High punch, all the way around. Right hand and left punch. Well done, that's down gun. Well, it was a squash down gun because we fit it in. How's everyone else getting on? I can see, yeah, Holly's just holding her pattern. Nuha looks like she's been doing Yule Gok. The Doolies look like they're doing Tege. And Ralph looked like he was doing Tege as well. Good job, guys. If you want another sip of water, I'm being very generous with them today. Right, uh, next up we've got four rounds of technique uh, and then eight rounds of stretching. So we're almost at the end now. So if you've still got plenty of energy, lots of power in this technique now. If you don't have lots of energy, just take it easy. Yeah, work however you're happy. Uh, we're going to do a walking stance, um, any block plus a reverse punch. So you might want to do a low block with a reverse punch, because that's walking stance. You might want to do a rising block with a reverse punch. Middle block, whatever you like. So you're going to step forward, walk and stance block, stay where you are, reverse punch, right down the middle. Yeah, depending on which camera I look at. All right, keep it going. So block for number one, stay still for the punch. And I'm going to do this one. Oh, well, no, that doesn't work. Yes, it does. I can still do a reverse punch. And I'm going to do this one. Do one from Dosan. Let's do one from Yulgok. Yeah, so any block, stick a punch on the end. Oh, well done. Uh, now I would like L stance garden block. Okay, so most of us know how to do a nice L stance. 70% of the weight on the back leg. Push that knee out. Don't let it buckle in. Hands are going to start high and then swing forward. I'll do a few this way. I suppose if you want to, you can make it a knife hand guarding block. You could also make it a high knife hand guarding block. You can make it a low knife hand guarding block. Any kind of guarding block you want. But the one you will first do on your gratings is the normal L stance. Uh, with the hands closed, it's a forearm one you do first. Okay, next one, um, we're going to keep that L stance garden block, whichever one you chose, or pick one, uh, and then you're going to add on any walking stance technique. So for instance, you could do L stance garden block and you could change it to a walking stance punch. Yeah, anything you want. Uh, I think I might do the one from Jungun. Yeah, L stance knife hand garden block, and then upward elbow. I'll do a few going from the side. So when we move from L stance to walking stance, we slide this leg in a little bit, not all the way, don't let the feet touch. And it goes further out and these toes twist to make it into walking stance. Let me see what you'll come up with. Kerry's doing the same as me. I think 
Miles isn't sure, he's teaching his mum, that's all right. Oh, I think we've got some knife hands going on with Eli and mum. Oh, and I saw the low one from, um, from Tege again. Good shout, Ralph. Okay, now I'd like any sitting stance technique. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna do inward block. Yeah, you can do any technique you want in sitting stance. You can punch, you can block, you can strike. Palm pushing block's a good one. Rising blocks are good. You can do your knife hand low garden block again. Yeah, anything you want. But because it's sitting stance, we're looking for those toes pointing forward, we're looking for the knees pushed out. Keep the feet flat on the floor, don't go on your tiptoes. Use your knees to move you up and down. Yeah, so we relax, we come up, we drop down as we block. So we get this down, up, down movement. Well done, Caden. I see some palm pushing blocks going on. I think that's Ella. Well done, Ella. All right, stretches coming up. That didn't feel too difficult today, but I've still got a good sweat on. Heart rate's still up. Okay, uh, so our first stretch will be the forward fold. Okay, so take your time. We're not going to rush into it. <laughs> hey, Sophie. <laughs> All right, forward fold, are we ready? All right, so hands up to the ceiling. You have the feet together or shoulder width. Hinge at the hips. Yeah, not at the back, hips, 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 hips. And when you can't get any lower bending at the hips, then we can relax the rest of the body. Just flop down. Uh, if you want a tiny bend in your knees, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, tiny bend's okay. All right, so we've got five seconds, now we're gonna take our feet wider. Yeah, and we're gonna do the same thing, but those feet wide. So not at your absolute max, because we're gonna go wider again after this. All right, so you've got 10 seconds to widen those legs out. And you can have your hands off the floor if you're feeling very balanced, or you can keep them on the floor. And again, this doesn't have to be your maximum. But do make sure that you can feel the stretch now, so it should feel nice and tight on the inside of the legs. It should hurt a little bit. If you start pulling faces, you've probably gone too far. Five more seconds. Excellent, sit yourself back. If your legs have come in like this naughty foot, just stick it back out. Uh, and our next one, we're just going to pancake down through the middle. Don't feel like if you're not as flexible as you were last week that you're doing something wrong. We all have fluctuations. Just be consistent with your stretching and you'll be fine. Uh, if you trained hard last week, you might still be a little bit tight today. So totally natural. Alright, so we come up, we're going to do uh, half frogs. Okay, so we're going to be knees out lovely and wide, and then we're just going to stick one leg out to the side. And yeah, this is our half frog. And the further you push that leg out, the better. Uh, notice that my knee is further out than my hip. I don't want a straight line down here. I want to open that up. A few more seconds, and we'll go to the other side. Alright, so take your time moving over. Keep those knees wide and stretch out. So 20 seconds here. Make this stretch. A few more seconds and we've got two to finish. We're going to go into a lovely low lunge. So we're going to have that knee on the back foot on the floor, yeah. and then we're going to lift that foot up and we're going to pull it in towards our bottoms. Ooh. Can I balance? I can, I've got it. Now try, if you can, to push that hip forward. So we're leaning forwards into this. A few more seconds and we'll try the other leg. Excellent, over we go. So knee on the floor, 
Take your time moving between these. Bring that foot up. Get your balance. And then rather than being up like this, we're going to lean forward. Let that hip travel. Oh. So when you do martial arts, especially kicking ones like taekwondo, kickboxing, uh, karate, you do a lot of work on the front of the legs. So they need a lot of stretching. And slowly out. Whoosh. We are done, guys. Well done. Um, if you're coming back for a little bit of patterns practice later, I'll see you then. But excellent work today, as always. Uh, some of you working super fast on those fitness exercises, so really well done. Uh, come to attention stance. Bow. Give yourself a clap. <laughs>